All right, this is a tutorial for this collage cubism practice. So first of all, go to this assignment here and you are going to save uh, this picture of the cat. Go ahead and right click, save image as, or however you wanna do it. I saved mine to my desktop, but it also saved down here. So it's kind of nice when it saves down here. Uh, so you can click and drag and then go ahead and save uh, some of these patterns. If you wanna find your own patterns, you can, but just for the sake of this video, you could use these just in the meantime to make it quicker. So our end product, I know this looks crazy, but since it's just a practice, um, we don't have much of a theme. Uh, it's gonna look something like this. So, um, and I started one here. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to exit out of that one. And this is my cat. So I'm gonna click and drag that. And you're not doing file uh, new. So you're doing file open. So if you don't have the picture down here, you can do file open, open the cat that way. Um, or you can click and drag it onto the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this down uh, just so this practice doesn't have to take forever, but just so you get the basic idea. So cropping tools right here. Um, and then I'm just going to crop this down just so we don't have as much to work with since it is again, just a practice. Enter, um, and I've got my cat. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually divide this up into different sections. So we're gonna use the brush tool. I'm gonna switch to the brush. And then I don't care what line colors you have and you can choose the thickness of your brush. So I'm just going to divide this up how I see fit. Um, you can use organic lines like this, or you can use you know more geometric straighter lines. It's totally up to you. And just start dividing this up um, how you, again, you decide how you want to do it. And then I think I'll do that and we're good. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, about six lines. You can do about six yourself, five or six. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to put a pattern in the background. And then I will also fill some of these sections in with the paint bucket. Um, it's a pretty easy thing to do, but you want to make sure you do it in the correct order um, and using the correct tools. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to use this magic wand tool. This is usually where we um, use the quick selection, but the magic wand actually works better for what we're doing. Um, it's a little bit quicker. Um, so go ahead and decide where you wanna put your first pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and I will do this background section here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click and you can see it selects all of that background area. So I am going to then command X and delete that white area and I'm gonna keep it selected and then I'm going to drag in one of my patterns. So you can either do file open in place and find one of those designs or patterns or if it's down here in your downloads bar, you can click and drag it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's gonna open the picture now. But you can click and drag it onto the artboard, okay? So then I switch to my move tool and you can see where the selection still is. Um, and I'm going to then, it, you can see that it's a new layer. I'm gonna right click and rasterize this layer. Um, again, if it has that little box in the corner, that means it needs to be rasterized. It also told me. Um, okay, so um, we wanna get rid of all this excess stuff. So what we're gonna do, currently the inside portion is selected. We want everything else but the inside portion selected. So we're gonna go to select inverse. So now you should have that dotted line around the whole thing. Um, and we're gonna do Command or Control X, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC. Okay, cool. So we have our pattern that takes up the background now, and then we wanna deselect all of this. So the command for that is Command D or Control D, and that deselects. Um, if you don't deselect, then it's not gonna let you do certain things, so you wanna make sure you deselect. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in um, another portion of the cat with the paint bucket. So um, I discovered that you can either go to the paint bucket, choose your color, um, and fill it in, um, but it might make you, uh, sometimes it might not fill in where you want to and make sure you're actually on that background layer. Um, I like to 
just to ensure it's going to where I want it. I will use the magic wand tool and then I can choose my color and then fill, oops, I forgot to switch. And then I will fill that in. So either way. So again, um, if you're good, you can stop the video and continue working yourself, but I'm gonna do one more uh, pattern on here so you can get the gist. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect, Command D, because that was selected, and I'm gonna choose another area. I will go ahead and do this part of the cat and delete, and then I can click and drag my pattern and this is my leaf pattern. I can go ahead and place it where I want to. I can't really turn the picture. So if you want to turn or edit the picture, you'll have to open it in a separate window and then duplicate it into this one. So I can see the little box. I need to rasterize. So I will right click rasterize and then I need to uh, inverse. So select inverse and then command or control X to delete that and then command D to deselect. And I'm gonna do this whole cat practice. So go ahead and try it yourself and see what you come up with. And you're going to save this, export it as a JPEG, and then you can turn it into the collage cubism practice.